Hello, hello, it's Kitty, proud to be your thought organizer and productivity pundit with declutterthebrain.com. And what do I do? I help people to organize their space and streamline their thoughts so they can be more profitably productive at the end of the day. Yes, and nothing feels better, wouldn't it? I'm sure you would agree with me, and I hope you do uh, agree that nothing feels better at the end of the day that then knowing that you were productive on the right things you got the right things done as opposed to you know, we've all we've all been known to drift and uh, yeah i've got my list and i didn't get a darn thing done off it right yeah okay well that's what we help you with here because when you declutter your space you uh, you you declutter your brain, you declutter, you achieve clarity, and we all want more clarity in life. And nothing requires more clarity than decluttering your finances. A couple months ago, we addressed uh, decluttering your finances as far as uh, clearing out your wallet. Now we get to the brass tacks because you have a goal as we talked about last week, um, that you've got a goal for life and now what do you need? You're probably going to need some money for it. Uh, now, you've made a decision. Now, you say, I know there are things I should be doing to save for money and plan for my retirement, but I don't have the time or the patience to look all of these things up. All right, stop. First thing, Stop beating yourself up about the past. We've all made poor financial mistakes. I even discovered one of my own recently, that a recent one, okay? We all make mistakes, So, but just forget about that. It's a brand new, fresh, shiny day. Decide to have more money and commit to doing whatever it takes to do it. And some of it's gonna be easy, some of it not so easy, but just commit. Make sure that you involve your, tell your family what what you're doing, all right? Because they're gonna notice strange new habits with you. So just be out upfront and honest. And if you're saying, I want more money, well, uh, they're probably, they're gonna be behind you, of course. And if somebody, if somebody says, oh, you've never been able to manage money, you just stick to your guns because I know that you can, okay? Trust me on that. Well, you don't know me, Kitty. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, don't forget, change is not going to happen overnight. Just like clutter, it doesn't accumulate overnight. It will not go away overnight. So just stay patient and and yeah just stay patient now today with the one of those steps is to track your money and all that is and it is a tedious yes is a time consuming yes i can tell you this i i happen to not like doing this at all but i've had better financial success when i have done that and that is tracking your expenses keep those receipts once a week enter them in a spreadsheet or a um, um, piece of um, piece of paper tomorrow i will have the column column book that i suggest that you could use as well and now you can see what is left over and where you can cut back so that you have money to put in towards your goals say for example you have cable tv you never watch tv like me uh the gym Okay, you never go to the gym? Well, then cut that expense. There's 50 bucks a month that you can put to something else. Extra cell data that you never, that you you hardly use. You're, you're a senior citizen. You hardly ever use your phone, but you bought that extra plan because it was on sale. Get rid of it. It's okay. Well, it's only 20 bucks. Yeah, well, that 20 bucks is, um, uh, that 12, <laughs> It's 160 bucks at the end. Of, it's money. It's over 100 bucks at the end of the year. Uh, Netflix. Okay, a need may be just quote hard to part with. All right. So, but you have to have it in front of you that you can see it. Okay. And yeah, it's it's actually quite eye opening to do to do this exercise. Um, all right, well, that, and by the way, those uh, cutting things out, yeah, you're going to have to tell the family. <laughs> you will have, be having some family talks, and don't let that deter you. Don't forget, uh, you, 
You don't want to be 65 and living on cat food. And geez, cat food is really expensive these days. It's a dollar fifty to a can at went my at my local grocery store. I'm not kidding you. All right, until tomorrow when we talk about debit or cash. Uh, there is a link down below if you're watching on social. Go ahead and download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And have a pleasant Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now.